morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. This is uh, the Sunday report. You saw my video I did yesterday <clears throat> playing. I did use a special effect on it uh, with the uh, synthesizer pedal. I've got it cut off now because I know that everybody don't have a synthesizer pedal. And uh, we're going to do another of the uh, E minor spooky tuning. I call it the spooky tuning. The tuning I put right down here is a E, a B, a E, and a G. That's the only string that's changed. You lower it from the G sharp to a G, then a B, then an E. Alright. What I do, I like to start off by giving it a rake across the string slowly. Now what we're doing, we're playing what I call suspense chord. My wife's been watching this AMC. I don't know if any of y'all catching it or not. I don't watch TV that much. I pass by and when I'm in the office looking at YouTube or reading, I'm always listening at the music they're playing on the movie because I like to study what they call film scores, music, and the only reason I really enjoy it because I write it for some companies that actually paid me to do such, which I think is pretty cool, getting paid to play music and make a file. I mix it and master it down and send it to them through the email, and then they, uh, in turn, put money into my checking account. It don't get no more funner than that, folks, I'm telling you. Anyway, let's go back to this, and we're going to start off with a rake across on the open E. I like to use my fingernail to pluck up that last string. If you're using a finger pick, got to work too. doing is closing down on the first fret, first string, so third fret, slide back, pick it open, and then hit the second string. That's what it sounds like. Then get that big E string. Close on the third, second, and then open. Go to your E, your twelfth fret. You can skip string it or I like to rake. Don't go all the way across. I right? stopping right there at the fourth string and going back down. Now, most most chords from there would go to a B or A, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make it go to an unknown place. It's it's a mind game for what it is. So we're gonna hit a C chord, which is down here the eighth fret. See, it really don't fit, and it makes your mind question the where the next note is going in the sequence. could be, which would be normal if you was playing in a G chord or a C chord. Then I slide down to the A, which is the fifth fret. Then slide down to the third fret, which is a G, 
and then I'm gonna go all the way up to the uh, B at the seventh fret. <laughs> back up to your E. Said, come over to that G string, your third one, and hit it. Close it down on the second fret. Go to the fourth fret. See how I do that? Open on the third string. Close at the second. Fourth. Back to the second, open, then the, the uh, fifth or the fourth, that was the third, this is the fourth. Also, did you notice? Give it a long slide in. I like to do that even at the opening. Between that G and that B gives it that sound of suspense. to the second string, slide it down to the fifth fret, which is an E. Hear it?
another thing, if you notice, I'm working it with my bar. Notice right there, I lift up the bar. I don't, I don't want to hear that slide in. I want to hear it start. something to play around with and uh, like I say it, it not mainly a good song but it's a good monster or fright or horror film score like on the next lesson and we're just going to do some good old country licks slide in and slide out so y'all stay tuned for that too that'll be coming up on the uh, day Sunday report uh, so that'll be coming up on the uh, hump day report 
and we'll get off with a spooky lesson. I done scared everybody enough right now, and a uh, pretty week. Finally, a week without rain looks like. Maybe we can get this hay bale. Who knows? See you later.